Good evening and welcome to Night Prep on this Monday, the 26th of April 2021. Lovely that you've been able to join us this evening. An opportunity perhaps to pause in the busyness of a day or as we wind down towards the end of the day. So the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. We say together that night hymn. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams, defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our appointed psalm this evening is Psalm 104. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone, to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to do their work and to their labour until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all, the earth is full of your creatures. There is a sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that Levithian which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you, to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure for ever, and may the Lord rejoice in his works. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And some scripture for, for tonight. It's from Revelation chapter 22, verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun. For God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. And now for our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now for our Nunc Dimittis. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. 
Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Grant us your light, O Lord, that darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Alleluia. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come together this day, we pray that you go before us. We give thanks for all that has been this night. We give thanks for perhaps meetings we've had, people that we've met, perhaps bumped into in the street or conversation over Zoom. We give thanks for all that has been. We remain ever mindful for those for whom today has been difficult or challenging, for those who may have undergone surgery, received treatment, received a diagnosis. We lift them to you, O Lord. We pray for those who this day are mourning the loss of loved ones, might be struggling with ill health. So, Lord, we lift to you all those named on our benefits prayer sheet tonight and for those who have specifically asked us for prayer. We name them now in a moment of quiet. So we lift them to you this evening. And we give thanks for the creation, although it's been a cold day that the sun has shone. We give thanks for the bird song and the, the flowers in the garden and blossom on the trees. Remaining ever mindful though that there has been no rain for some time and perhaps, O oh Lord, a shower just to sprinkle the garden and water for our farmers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as it's towards the end of our day, Lord, we pray for those who will be working night shifts tonight, for those in the emergency services, in our hospitals, care homes and in our hospice. So, Lord, we give thanks for your constant presence with us. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now for the collect. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray. Drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. And thank you for joining us this evening for night prayer. And also just to acknowledge it's uh, my colleague, John Morrison. It's his birthday today. So, John, as you share so much of this online ministry, we wish you a very happy birthday. And thank you for all that you do for us here in the Benefice and beyond. So please do join us if you can for uh, morning prayer in the morning at nine. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you again at six o'clock tomorrow night. Good night and God bless. Bye for now. Bye.